Presidential Election Petition Court has admitted as exhibits the Chicago State University educational documents of President Bola Tinubu, who formerly opened his defense in a petition filed against his election by the People's Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, Abubakar Atiku. The educational documents tended to establish his attendance and graduation at the American University include the admission letter offered Mr. President by the famous institution, among others. Judiciary correspondent Celestina Area reports. Through his lead counsel, Wale Olani Pekun, a senior advocate of Nigeria, President Bola tendered a total of 14 documents in his defense in the PDP's petition. Among the documents tendered are certified true copies of U.S. visa documents, which indicated that he visited the United States of America several times unhindered between 2011 and 2021. The president who tendered the document to refute allegations of involvement in crime contained in the petition against him also made available to the court or documents by the Nigerian Immigration Service, which cleared him for the U.S. trips. He also tendered CTC of the United States of America Embassy letter of April 4, 2003, which is a response to a letter of the Nigerian police dated February 3, 2003, which stated that the embassy had no criminal records of President Tinubu in the USA. The documents were admitted in spite of rigorous objections against their respective admissibility by the PDP and the former vice president. Apart from the educational documents, the court further admitted CTCs of an originating summons of a suit instituted at the Supreme Court by the Attorneys General of Adamawa, Akwaibum, Bayosa, Delta, Edu and Sokoto states challenging the educational background of President Tunubu to stand for the 2023 presidential election. CTCs of newspaper publications on several suits filed against President Tunubu by several groups were also tendered. Meanwhile, further hearing in the petition has been adjourned to July 5th by the presiding justice of the court, Justice Haruna Samani. The Independent National Electoral Commission has opened and closed its case in the petition filed by the Labour Party by calling only one witness, Lawrence Bayode, who has worked with the Commission for over 24 years as an ITC specialist. Mr. Bayode was also the only witness called by the Commission when it defended its case in the petition filed by the PDP. By way of ensuring counsels confirmed to the exits of the legal profession, the court took a swipe at the counsels of the PDP for always commenting on matters that before the courts to journalists. The court said these comments sometimes are misinterpreted by social media by giving a false narrative of what transpires in the courtroom. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.